Hello everyone, welcome to another fully narrated gameplay and in this game we're playing Warwick in the jungle against the cane. If you are looking for a good introductory jungler to get started with jungling, I would strongly recommend Warwick and we will be going over all of his strengths over the course of this game. We start off the game by clearing out the bottom side of our jungle then heading towards our top side red buff to hit level 3. You'll notice that Warwick is actually quite slow at clearing the jungle and this is one of his flaws. As the 3 minute mark approaches, the enemy Kane ganks our bottom lane. Now we happen to be on the top side of the map while Kane shows up on the bottom side so there's no way that we can show up for our counter gank. However, regardless of whether or not Kane is successful with his gank in the bottom lane, we must capitalize on his presence on the map. And so while the enemy jungler shows up in our bottom lane, we go visit the enemy jungler's topside jungle and clear out all of his jungle camps. It is important that we notice Kane's presence and respond to it. We absolutely cannot autopilot and continue farming our own jungle while the enemy jungler is on the bottom side of the map. Warwick has a lot of built-in sustain in his kit which means he can keep on jungling forever. After clearing out the enemy jungler's topside jungle, we go back to clear our Krugs and Raptors then recall to buy a Tiamat to help speed up Warwick's slow jungle clears. We take the Scuttle Crab in the bottom side river and clear out the entirety of our bottom side jungle to hit level 6. Now that we have strong ganking capabilities, we head over to the mid lane and sit and wait looking for an opportunity to gank the enemy Zed. Eventually, Zed moves up far enough in lane in order for us to come in from behind and cut off his escape path. I activate Blood Hunt and start chasing Zed into our top side jungle and the mobility boost that this ability provides allows me to catch up to him with my ultimate. Our mid lane Ari follows up with her charm and we make short work of the enemy Zed. As we continue farming our topside jungle, the enemy Kane had ganked our top lane and killed our Yorick. At the same time, the enemy Ash gets a kill on our Leona in the bottom lane. There's not a whole lot that we can do about this, but it's fine, we'll manage. We clear out the minions in the top lane, clear out the rest of our jungle, then clear a ward in the river and head back to base to buy some more items. We start building out our jungle item and buy a control ward as we plan to do the dragon soon. We clear out the scuttle crab in order to prepare for a dragon but it looks like our Leona is roaming towards the mid lane so we follow her. During this time the enemy jungler spots me and he passes by near us. Now we don't know whether Kane is at the raptor camp or if he's passing by into the mid lane. Unfortunately, Kane makes the mistake of attacking us over the wall telling us exactly where he is and Leona engages. In the fight that follows, both Zed and Kane end up dying. Now with two members of the enemy team taken off the map, we use our numbers advantage to take the dragon. Afterwards, we clear out the Gromp, the Wolves, the Krugs, and the Raptors. As we're clearing the Raptor camp, a fight breaks out of mid between Ari and Zed. Both of them end up dropping to lower health and this is where Warwick shines. Simply by being in the area where the fighting is going on, Warwick gets a massive mobility boost on Bloodsend. We come in at high speed, closing in on the enemy Zed while Zed's abilities are on cooldown and finish him off despite missing our ultimate. Afterwards, we secure the Scuttle Crab in the topside river, take a red buff and recall the base to buy some more items. We complete our jungle item and boots and buy another control ward as we intend to do dragon again. We take our blue buff and start securing vision on the bottom side of the map, looking for a gank. After setting up, the enemy Ash lands an arrow on our Caitlyn and takes her down. After a brief distraction in the enemy jungle, we come in from behind taking down the enemy Ash, avenging our Caitlyn. We almost got a kill on the enemy Morgana as well but she manages to barely get away. After that, we clear our Gromp, the Wolves and then head towards the top side of the map. At this time, the enemy Zed rotates towards the top side of the map and kills our Yorick. Seeing the enemy Kane cover for Zed in the mid lane, we head into Kane's top side jungle clearing out his jungle camps. Around this time, we're getting flamed by our top lane Yorick who's complaining about the difference in junglers. So we mute him and keep playing. We clear the top side Scuttle Crab then head towards the Dragon Pit where we're going to take the Mountain Dragon. As we're clearing the dragon, Zed and Ari get into another fight and Zed drops extremely low on health once again. Blood Scent activates giving us a massive mobility boost and we chase down the enemy Zed killing him with our ultimate. Once again, the ability to chase down targets at low health is one of Warwick's greatest strengths. It is virtually impossible to escape him without the help of your allies. With the enemy Zed dead, I exploit our numbers advantage by starting the Rift Herald. Unfortunately, while I'm doing this, Leona engages a fight that she really should have avoided in the mid lane and gets herself killed. With Leona dead, it is far too dangerous to continue doing the Rift Herald so we give it up. After that skirmish, we clear our Raptor camp, the Krugs, and the Red Buff. We decide to head by the mid lane to help out Ari once again and the enemy Silas shows up and steals our ultimate. The enemy Silas attempts to engage on Ari with our ultimate and he misses. We go in ourselves with Howl and follow up with our ultimate on Silas at point blank range and we take him down. Now Zed is aware that my ultimate is down so I am going to try and bait him into going all in on me. 
I walk up to him and take a ton of damage and he sees an opportunity to collect a shutdown. He activates his ultimate and goes all in on me thinking that he has the advantage but he does not realize that Warwick's ultimate is not his strongest ability. Warwick's strongest ability is actually his howl, which we will now use to minimize the incoming damage and CC Zed allowing us to kill him. If the enemy Zed was not demoralized before, he certainly will be now. As our Caitlyn and Leona kill Morgana in the bottom lane, we head into the enemy jungle to take the red buff. Our team is pushing the tier 2 bottom lane turret and there's a lone Ash trying to defend it. With no Morgana around to keep her alive, this is a free kill so we come in from behind and gank the enemy Ash under turret and take her down. Notice that we prioritize landing our Howl on Ash to make sure that she cannot surprise us and we take her down safely. We use our numbers advantage to take down the turret then head back to base. The final play of the game is one that it was not involved in. As I'm coming out of base, a fight breaks out in the mid lane. The enemy Ash and Morgana get the perfect engage on our Ari. Our team is so far ahead that Ari survives anyway and wipes out several members of the enemy team. At which point, the enemy team feels demoralized and they surrender. Now you might say, wait a minute, this game was too easy. The reality is that the enemy top lane and bottom lane were substantially stronger than our own top lane and bottom lane. Warwick is simply an extremely strong jungler who can overcome such a small imbalance which is why this game seems so one-sided. Do give Warwick a try and look for opportunities to capitalize on the strengths of his kit and this will make learning the jungle much more easier. If you love these videos and want to see more, do hit the subscribe button and use the bell icon to be notified on when the next video comes out. If you want to improve your in-game decision making, take a look through the playlist on the left and if you want to learn some league strategies, take a look through the playlist on the right. You can also follow on Twitter and if you want to support this channel directly, do click on the Patreon link to support this channel.